Kia ora, I'm Celestial Serpent from Live On Love. We're here at Live On Love Foundation and today in this video you're going to learn about permaculture, syntropic systems, you're going to learn about food forestry and you're going to learn about particular natural pharmacy plants. So we're going to find our pharmacy in the bush. So if you enjoy this video and you find it interesting then just subscribe, hit that notify button and then you can check out all our polymath education videos as they're coming in. So let's get into it. Our first plant which is amazingly good for its insecticide volume is the Citronella geranium. Now the Citronella geranium can be used when you just just want to keep those mosquitoes away particularly and if you if you look at this plant down here it's very aromatic. You smell that? Ooh, smells like the products you're going to buy at the store, but it's right there in your garden. It's right there, your bush pharmacy, natural medicine. So we're going to come over here. Now I've just seen a little weed that I want to rip out and recycle back into the system as mulch. And it's called Crofton weed, Ageratina adenophora. And this, this plant is renowned for its ability to kill or at least make horses real sick. So if you've got a horses on your property, you don't want to have the Crofton weed. Now, Crofton weed is also known as Mexican Devil. And it's probably known by the equestrian community because, like I say, it can really make horses sick. I think less so for other animals. Goats can eat it and other things like that. But like I say, we're going to crush it up and recycle it back into the system for the, the future of the food forest and the pharmacy of which is part of the system. Now in the garden bed behind me we have the very ancient red cedar, the Tuna ciliata. And now this is like an ancient grandfather, grandmother tree, very prolific, growing to, to a thousand years plus, very big trees. Now um, we're in the Minjungbu area of, of Bunjalung or you know northern rivers, also known as uh, Yukai up here. And these valleys, they used to be decorated with many of these giant ancient trees and we're starting to regenerate them here. So, so this is... Uh, a, an amazing timber but also we, we're just wanting to bring its biomass and its uh, density to our food forest. Now accompanying our red cedar we also have a little yarrow there. Now that's known as Achillea milliforium and it's really good for stopping bleeding so if you're really bleeding profusely you want to get this plant. Uh, our one's very young but when it's older it'll have some white flowers and you want to put that on your wound with some pressure so it's good to have in your bush pharmacy. And we have a lot of other things in here which are really good to have around the place for your uh, immediate access. It's like your first aid kit out here in the bush. So. The next one we're going to look at is is actually really good for your children when they're teething, yeah? My little Pepe right now actually, she's growing some new teeth in. So it's good to have your teeth egg plant. Now it's also known as the uh, buzz buttons because of the, the actual, the, the, the buzz that it has when you eat this plant. And when you eat the yellow flowers, it's, it's, it can it can known to numb, numb your tongue. So it's also got names like electric daisy and other things like this so so this thing is um is is good if you get the leaf you can use the leaf just 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 in the mouth it's it's also known to be good for your throat so acmella spilanthus oleracea is used from all sorts of medicines and you can use it as a general anesthetic if you were to eat it and consume it and you can also use it as a local anesthetic if you use the flower which is the highest potency and you can rub that on topically and you can get a an anesthetic type of a, a relief from it and it's a, it's a great plant to have in your pharmacy so you want your bush pharmacy to have things like this and right next to it we also have some parsley we have some cucumber, we can come over here and we can see some Brazilian spinach. So Brazilian spinach is known as Altananthera sisu. 
So we're always thinking about companion planting and compiling thick forestry, thick type of food forestry and, and pharmacy forestry. So over here next to our leafy greens, which are just good for the everyday preventative of unwellness. You know, you're eating these leafy greens full of chlorophyll and stuff. They're really good on a daily basis, but over the long term, we've got our mulberry right next to it. So while we're watering this, this Brazilian spinach, in the long term, we're actually giving this mulberry bush, this mulberry tree, a start on its journey. And this one is known as the Morris from the Moraceae family. And mulberries are an amazing berry that you want to be having on your property. You can sculpt them and make them into very beautiful things. So long term, this is going to be an orchard effectively, this whole area. And herbs like this are for, for the now. So let's cruise ahead, we've got something else to look at. Next we've got Tanacetum parthenium. Now this is known for its parthenolides, which are used for the treating of migraines and headaches. So this plant is commonly known as feverfew, and it is also known for its ability to help with the pain relief of uh, certain women's business, if you catch my drift and also for nausea, vomiting, and of, of course headaches and even stomach aches. So to have these type of plants readily available is, is very good for your family, for your tribe, for your community. And uh, if you want to subscribe to this channel, you're going to learn a lot more about permaculture, learn a lot more about using plants and this symbiosis of a relationship that we're developing through learning and using plants on a daily basis. Now Live On Love are also accepting donations through the form of subscription to our Patreon. So if you really want to help us to create more free content to inspire and empower, then please tune in and share this content around. Thanks fellas. Catch you next time. With queen like quality, write randomly, rap real, roar rapidly, rise and return, realizing reality, source of our sanity, scriptures are sinning, symbolism, serpent separates, synchronized soul singing, Tesla technology, tuned into the Trinity, time travel, television, terror vision, tyranny, unicorn, eulogy, unifying you and me, undisputed, underlying universal unity. Ultraviolet vacuum vibrating with vibrance Vaporized vanity that validates the violence Wise wizards wearing his words as a wedding ring Ways of the western world, wild winds in Wellington Extra, extra, extreme exaggeration Extraordinary, excitable acceleration Yes, you, yellow belly yearning for yesterday Yin and yang, yogi, yeti, all yelling yay Zooming with zen like zebras at the zoo Zigzag, Zion, Zoroastrian, Zulu Check it out, check it out.